Joey, what the hell are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm about to make a sticker for this coffee mug of mine. Joey, I, I don't I don't think you have any idea what you're doing, do you? Yeah, I think I know what I'm doing. I've seen a few YouTube videos before. You've seen a few videos before on YouTube. So that makes you an expert now. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to figure it out. It's going to be just fine. You're going to see. That's, that's, well, you know, whatever. It, it's your mug. Do what you want. What's going on YouTube? Little guy coming out here with an update on the apparel line. Just went and picked up this little Cricut machine here. It's basically a miniature plotter uh, that allows you to cut vinyl. Um, we're going to be doing ironed on vinyl for your t-shirts and sweatshirts and um, stuff like that. We're not really ready to make hats yet and stuff, but we're going to be making stickers and we're going to be making shirts and all different types of stuff like that with ironed on vinyl. Also, we can do your custom logo as well. All you got to do is send me your logo, and I can mock it up for you, and I can make you stickers, shirts, whatever you want. Wife's been wanting to get creative with this thing for a while, so I went and picked it up for her, so that way she could um, make her own designs and stuff like that for, like, baby clothes and all that good stuff. Um, she's in the process of designing a onesie for Thanksgiving. It's going to be really cool. Make sure you check it out. She's going to be making a Facebook page here very soon. Uh, we're just trying to figure out a name for her online shop, if you will. Uh, but you are going to be able to order little guy stuff, shirts, stickers, um, stuff like that here now directly from me. And um, as far as pricing goes, we're still trying to iron out all the details. It just depends on what you want. The quantity, the size, the color, all that good stuff. Because everything is going to be custom made right here in-house. There's going to be no need for worrying about inventory and all that good stuff. So if you say, hey, Matt, I want a 2X in black with yellow lettering or red lettering or whatever, I can set you up and calculate a price for you and, you know, get everything shipped out to you within a week, not even. Obviously, if you order more than one item, it's going to be more cost-effective for you and more cost-effective uh, for myself, obviously. If you're, especially if you're wanting something, you know, off a wall, like a special shirt with a, you know, certain color or whatever. That way, I don't have to waste as much material. Um, if you order one shirt, I'm going to go ahead and include stickers and everything, um, little guy stickers and all that good stuff. But like I said, if you want to do your own custom logo on your own shirt or get stickers made, you know, we can do that now for you. What we're going to do right now is a demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and put a little guy sticker on this random ass tumbler cup from Walmart. So I've already got everything set up on the computer. I'm going to show you that real quick, what that looks like. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the vinyl. We're going to go ahead and put it on some transfer tape. And we're going to put it on the cup. And we're going to show you how it's done right now. All right, so obviously you have a whole bunch of different colors you can choose from. Uh, the color that we're going to use for the cup is we're just going to use white for today. So I'm going to just a standard piece of white vinyl. You have your cup, and what you want to do is you want to take a, a rough measurement of the size of the, the spot where you're going to be putting the sticker. Take a measurement about four inches, uh, three and a half inches. We'll do five inches. Once you get your measurements, you want to go over to the computer and put those measurements onto the template screen. All right, once you get over here to your computer screen, we're going to go ahead and take the image and stretch it a little bit to make it the uh, measurement we want. We're only going to make one sticker right now. So we're going to bring it to three and a half, give or take, to about five. So we've got three and a half by f almost five. doesn't have to be exact, just as long as you get a rough number. And then we're going to go over here and hit make it. And now we're going to go ahead and get our vinyl loaded up. And we're going to hit the cut button. Okay, guys. Once it's set and loaded and everything is um, 
ready to go, you're going to hit this button right here and it's going to start cutting the sticker out for us. Alright cool, once it's done cutting, you're going to want to cut off your excess vinyl that you're not using and then we got to start weeding it out. Basically what you're going to do is, you're going to find the lines, you're just going to start pulling away the excess vinyl, like this. As long as the blade is sharp enough and is at the right depth, it should weed out fairly easy. Also, depending on your design and how intricate it is, it will depend on how it looks once it's cut. Some of the intricate parts in my design are on the avatar itself. The lettering is just lettering. But the avatar has some intricate parts that have to be weeded out carefully. This is what it looks like after it's been weeded out, as you can see. All we have left is the sticker, and now all we have to do is put some uh, transfer tape on it and put it on the mug. Transfer tape part's very simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, the sticker that you just weeded out. You're gonna take a piece of transfer tape. You could use masking tape. You could use pretty much whatever. You know, masking tape, contact paper, you know, uh, is the best way to do it. You want to make sure it's flat as much as you can. And stick the stick the paper on there, and then take yourself a card or you know whatever to make sure it's flat like this. Make sure you get it on there nice and tight, as tight as possible with no creases. When I send out stickers to you guys, it's going to be just like this. It's going to have the transfer tape already on it. All you're going to have to do is peel the transfer tape off with the logo onto the onto the transfer tape and then apply it on. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, you guys, once you get your transfer tape put on, you're going to go ahead and start to peel the logo off of the lining material that it came on, okay? And you got to do that carefully. You got to start in the corner. And if you start to peel it, and you see that it's not going onto the transfer tape, you got to kind of push it down a little bit. But if you pushed it down hard and used a hard card or a tool made for this stuff, it should come right off. Now that we have the logo off of the lining material, it is only on the transfer tape. And this is the easy part. Now that you have that off, you take your cup or whatever your, you know, your window, your, whatever you're putting the sticker on, Make sure you have a nice clean surface, okay? And then you basically just want to nice and gently apply it from the middle out so that way you don't get any air bubbles. Try not to get any air bubbles, okay? Cups are easy. All you got to do is, you know, eyeball it is the easiest way to do it. Make sure you got a good clean surface. And then just wrap it around the cup. Same thing, you want to take your card and start pushing it down. Okay, once you get your logo onto your cup or whatever you're doing, and you have it tacked down really hard with your tool, you're going to go ahead and peel the transfer tape off, and then voila. Nice and slow. Boom! Let me show you the finished product here.